He witnesses the sins that we think are secret. That's what this thing is all about. In order to build the nation of Israel back, guess what? Believe it or not, it starts with strong marriages. But now the choice is yours. Right. The choice is yours. Right. Now I'm gonna go through some scriptures. You are Israelite. You're not black or African American. Right. You are the are Israelite from the tribe of what? Judah? A so-called American black. Now I'm gonna go through do you love God? Do you love God? I'm gonna show you what color Christ is. You say you look like us. So that is our God, the so-called blessed Spanish Native American. And then I'm gonna get some laws and statutes and commandments that you must live by. And then, let me see what your mind go then. Give me uh, Revelation 1 and 1. The book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Go down to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs are white like wool. Like you say it, sis. His head is white and woolly, just right like up. you, just That's like right. me. Right. Read. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes are flame of fire because his first miracle would turn the water into wine. Right. So he drank wine in moderation. Because if we drink wine, no strong drink, you know the white of our eyes, they turn a little red. Read. And his feet uh -huh. like unto fine brass. There you go, you said brass. So Christ is us. He in us. He know our thoughts, he know your ways. So this is our true Messiah right here. That's the right. Messiah. That's us and it's recorded in the Bible. Right. In the Bible. So Christ is a very dark skinned man. Watch this, read. As if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything, it's gonna turn black. Right. It's gonna turn black. Now, let me get the love of God, first John 5 and 3. I'm gonna show you how you love God. And I'm gonna show you the, th the step that you must take if you want to make it to the kingdom of heaven. Oh. The kingdom of heaven. Three. The book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So the love of God is keeping his commandments. Right. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. In God's commandments, it said it's not grievous. So that's how you love God. Now you know how to love God by keeping his commandments. But now I got to get some commandments for you. I got to get what he say, how you going to make it to the kingdom of heaven. Now let me get, um, yes, Exodus 20 and 8. Because today, what's so special about today? What day it is? Sunday? Saturday. Today, today is Saturday, sis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, today is Saturday. I'm going to show you what's so special about Saturday. Because if we love God, he said keep his commandments. Now I'm going to show you what is special about today. There you go. You're a smart sister. You, you, sure don't, you don't read the Bible? So how you know how you know so much about it's it? It's simple. The day of rest, last day of the week, or Saturday. That's Sunday. Sunday is the beginning of the week. Okay, let's read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day. Why did the Bible say remember the Sabbath day? Because through, look, through slavery, through slavery, we're going to put Yosef Island upon our neck. The so-called white man going to all switch days on us. Talking about Sunday is the rest day. No, Saturday. God, he created Saturday. He shows you Saturdays at the end of the week. Right. That's right there. Right. And then you, you know how people trust in the so-called white man so much, right. they won't check themselves? Right. <laughs> they, they actually believe in the so-called white man, they won't even check themselves. It's, they it's Bring it right there. Right. That's why we got to do our own research. That's why we ought to research ourselves. 
Read on. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Now, in the Sabbath day, we should not be working. Then it should be closed. Right. The, the, the uh, shell station should be closed. Right. Dollar Tree should be closed. Bring it out. Everything should be closed today. Because it said no working today. Bring it out. But we trusted the so-called white man so much that we're gonna do what? We're gonna break the most high God's Sabbath. That's why he sent our enemies against us. Right. And the thing that makes me think about that, you gave us the religion, but you don't even abide by it. He gave us gave us what? Talk about the um Bible, they didn't give us the Sabbath day. You remember they changed the Sabbath day right. to Sunday. But like you said, sir, if they did, if, if Sunday was the Sabbath, guess what? They still breaking, like you said. Right. They still they still breaking it. Right. Now let's get Exodus um 16, 23. Also, also, no cooking. No cooking on the Sabbath. This how this how you love God. You can start off with this, one, sis. You can start off with this command right here. Keep the Sabbath. Come fellowship with us. Every Saturday at 3 o'clock. Every Saturday at 3 o'clock. Exodus all uh, 16, 23. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. And he said unto them, that is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So they're going into Friday. He said tomorrow, which is the Sabbath, which is Saturday. Read. So you're going to bake, you're going to cook what you're going to cook on that Friday before the sundown. Read. And see that which he will see, and that which remaineth over lay up for lay up for you to be kept until the morning. Right. Because you cannot cook on this day. That's why we prepare on that Friday before the sundown and, uh, to do it, to do all the cooking. Right. That's why we work Sunday through Friday before sundown to do it, to pay all our bills, to get our money and everything like that. Right. Because we cannot cook on that day. Right. We cannot cook. Nor can we do what? Buy on The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring where of any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So anybody bring you anything on that day like, hey, check out this watch, check out my clothes. Hey, I got food for you. Right. On that day, read. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. We're not buying on them on the Sabbath. So we couldn't be buying or selling, cooking, working. But what we should be doing is congregating with our brothers and sisters. Right. Because when we finish out here, we go into the school. We go into the school to, to fellowship with our sisters and our brothers. Right. I got a question for you. I think I heard you said something about what, what's, why don't you believe in the Bible? Christ's color that's in the Bible. Right, right, right. All those things right there, it's true. It's true. That's in the Bible. The Saturday day where we went over. Guess what? It's in, you said it yourself. It's Saturday. The Bible says it's Saturday on the Sabbath. Right. So those are true things in the Bible. Not what you start doing, sis. So you start believing in the Bible now. Right. Because it's, it's your book. It's your book. Where we learned that from? So-called white man. We learned that. The Bible is not true because of them right here. Right. Like you said to yourself, you said, um, what, if they put it in why they, why they don't do it? Because they are the lies. 
Right. They are the, the hypocrites. Right. The so-called white man. Because they cover the whole face of the earth. That's why they, they're your lawyers, the doctors and stuff like that. They keep us in sin. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. They keep us in sin. That's why we can't want to believe that this Bible is our true book. It's our book. Now, now, by, by saying that, by saying that, let me get Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. Let's get the woman. Now, this is how the Bible describes how to be a woman. How to be a woman, how to carry yourself. Read. The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 2, 3. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine. So that's the age of the white. I'm a, that's the age of the um the woman, the so-called Israelite woman. They want to be what? Excuse? They supposed to be doing what? Teachers of good things. That's what they're supposed to be doing right now. Read on. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands. So they should be all out here drinking and stuff like that. They should be sober. The entertainment world, the entertainment world. Um, my man is her man, it's our man, everybody's sharing a man. It's drugs. Right. Um, and that's who, who teaches that? This word teach you that, that is okay. The so-called white man teach you that, that's okay. But no, the woman's supposed to be sober. Teaching the younger women how to be women. How to be women. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Because God gave us a dress code to follow by. He gave us a dress code. So if we love God, we would do what? We would keep his commandments. And his commandment, it's not hard. It's not hard. We just, we just think that, um, that the, the Bible, you know what I'm saying, it's not ours. We just think that. But we got to come out of that. Because the Bible is how you going to make it to the kingdom of heaven. It got all the things that you need. How you doing, my sister? How you doing? What we, what we going over? We going over on the characteristics of a, a woman. How to be a woman according to this Bible. Because the so-called blessed and spread Native American woman, they are daughters of Sarah. That was a prophecy. So we trying to get that characteristic out there. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now it's saying a woman should not wear that pertain to men. So what do women wear that pertain to men these days now? It said pants. So the Bible said a woman should not wear pants. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So who, if a man put on a dress, high heel stockings, it won't look right. But they're doing that in the music industry right now. Showing you what? Showing you what? They breaking the, the commandments of the Most High God. Women wearing pants is breaking the commandments of the Most High God. Because if we love God, we would keep his commandments. So a woman should not be wearing pants. Because pants do what? It show your shape, first and foremost, it show your shape. And the next thing, it put that manly spirit on you. There's a spirit behind women wearing pants. Because, just think about it. If a, if a guy wear a dress, if he sit down, well, he, he got to pull it down. He got to be feminine. So it put on the feminine spirit when a man put on a dress and high heels. He got to walk a certain way. Just like when the women put on pants. They walk, they come up, they bam, when they sit down, they got this manly thing on them. The, the Bible said a woman should not be doing that. That's abomination. Wow. That's one thing that we got to change because Zephaniah 1 and 8. Did y'all know it was a punishment? It's a punishment if God find men wearing dresses and women wearing pants. Did y'all know that? It's a punishment. Let's get that. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children. He said in his sacrifice, 
That means blood, bloodshed. He gonna punish the princes and the king's children. The Israelites, the Israelites. Cause y'all not African American. Y'all are Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Right. Read on. And all such are clothed with strange apparel. He said all such are clothed in strange apparel. Meaning, women wear pants and men wear dresses. That just one man. If he find you that in that day, he gonna destroy you. You cannot make it to the kingdom of heaven like that. You cannot make it like that. Now go back to Titus, chapter two. Three again. Because while we out here, we out here to show our people that transgressing, for they can turn from their wicked ways, and for they can make it to the kingdom of heaven. That's why we have a school open every Saturday at three o'clock. Bring it out. For you sisters and the brothers they can come in and relearn their nationality. Their nationality. Because Christ he loves you. And he giving you chance after chance after chance every single day. Every single day. That's why we try to go all across the world to teach this gospel to our people. Read. Titus chapter 2 verse 3. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers. Don't be false accusers. Be holiness. Keep the commandments. How you doing, my sister? We, we going over the characteristics of, of, of a woman. How a woman should carry herself. Bring it out. Read. Not false accusers. Huh? Not giving too much wine. Don't be out those drinking. Drinking all that. You got to be sober, sisters. Read. Teaching of good things. You got to teach a good thing. What is a good thing to teach? The commandments. So y'all supposed to come in and learn and teach the younger women the commandments. Like my little sister right here, she know. She gotta know the commandments on the most like God. She depending on who? The aged woman. Read. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husband. What? Love their husband. Yes, God ordained, come on sister, God ordained marriage. God ordained marriage, so he gotta teach her to love her husband. Not having more friends and girlfriends. Because the Bible says, love their husband. And watch this, read. To love their children. To be discreet. Say, keepers at home. Don't be all, all in man faces. You gotta be discreet. You know what I'm saying? You gotta act like a woman. You gotta be feminine like a woman. So you gotta teach them to love their own kids. You gotta keep it at home. Right? Keep up the household. Like when your godly man, I ain't say get no living. Right. Get a godly man that know to keep the commandments, that love his wife, love his family and kids. To come home, the house should be straight, have dinner on the table. That's how you gotta teach them. That's how you teach the, the, the younger um, woman. Because this is what we're trying to go to. Because our our um our neighborhoods is messed up. The so-called black and Spanish neighborhood, they messed up. Right. They got gang violence in it. They they got they got single parent households in it. We trying to fix that. But what can fix that? The Bible can fix that. The Bible got all the answers, my sister. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.